Did you ever create a group called YSL? A group, yeah. Okay. Was it something else besides a group? Not to, not to my means of knowledge. Not to your means of knowledge, okay. Do you still have a copy of One Charlie Charlie in front of you? Yeah. Okay. I want to direct your attention to number one on page two. And let me actually go above that. Where it says four, what does it say on four? Hmm? On page two, are you looking on page two? Yeah. Okay, do you see the number four? Yeah. What does it say next to number four? Defend, defendants acknowledgement. Okay, and then below that, where it says A, what does it say? All statements below are truthful. All right, and what does number one say? Why say otherwise? No, is your slime life begin as a neighborhood group but evolved into a gang? Okay. And did you initial number one? Yeah. It, those are your initials, right? Yeah. Okay. So when I just asked you was why I sell a gang, why did you tell me you don't know? Did you not acknowledge that in this document? Yeah, but it's like, evol I don't know when it evolved into a gang. I know when when I when we made it, it was a, a neighborhood group. It was right. a group of guys from the neighborhood who made it a, a music group. And in this acknowledgement that you initialed, you said it evolved into a gang. That's what you initialed. Yeah. Okay. So why I don't know when it evolved into a gang, though. I didn't ask you when. I just asked you, did why sell become a gang? Yeah. All right. When did you all form YSL? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the year. Who were the individuals who founded or formed YSL? It was a couple of us. I can't, it was probably about. It was a handful of people, though. I can't just name them off the bat. But. Name some of the people you can. Uh, myself. Lil T. And Lil Jeff. We made YSL, the music group. Now, I know you're saying YSL, the music group. When you all first started, was it a music group? Yeah. And when you say it was a music group, what what do you mean? Were you incorporated as a music group? What what do you mean by that? When you say incorporated, what you mean by that? You're saying that it was a music group. Tell the jury what you mean by it was a music group when y'all first started. What do you mean? I mean we was trying to rap. We was trying to make money off rapping. That's what I mean. Why did it then evolve into a gang if you were first trying to do music? I don't, I don't know. I guess it, I don't know. Okay. I don't know why it evolved into a gang. Everybody just wanted to be YSL. We ain't say we finna be the biggest gang in the world. We ain't do that. How did you come up with the name YSL? Um... I think it came from the the designer clothes why I sell, if I'm not mistaken. And why did you, Little Jeff, and Lil Tick decide to form YSL? Because we wanted to rap. We wanted to... Every rapper got like a name or like a music group or something behind them. And we wanted to have like that foundation. I want to direct your attention back to page two of Stacey Exhibit 1's Charlie Charlie. Mm -hmm. 
What does it say under number two? Well, I say it's a group that began in late 2012 in the Cleveland Avenue area of Atlanta, which evolved into a gang. Okay. So do you understand that you formed along with Little Jeff and Little Tick YSL in 2012 based upon what you initialed? Yeah. Okay. So about 2012, is that right? Yeah. I don't even think we were going to Cleveland when that happened, though, but okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I don't think we was going to Cleveland. Like, when we were sitting around, like, we were going to make a, mu like a, a group, a music group. We were, I don't even think we was in Cleveland Avenue. But. Where do you think you were? If you weren't on Cleveland Avenue at that time, where were you? 2012. I don't even think we were hanging on Cleveland then. So where were you hanging? Not on Cleveland. Where were you? We wasn't hanging. We was trying to promote music. Did y'all still stay off of Cleveland Avenue? Like lived? Yeah. Okay. I did. What about Tick? I don't know where he lived at. What about Lil Jeff? His mom still stayed on Cleveland then. All right. Outside of you, Tick, and Lil Jeff, were there other individuals back in 2012 a part of YSL? Maybe like two. Who else? I can't really remember their name, but 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 one of them. Okay. And you don't remember that last individual? Mm-mm. Mm-mm, that no? No. Okay. Now, as one of the founding members of YSL, did you determine how someone could gain access into becoming a part of YSL? Never. Never? Never. So how would you determine if this person could claim or be a part of YSL? How would you make a determination? We never did that. Okay. So anybody could be on YSL? Anybody could be like on YSL. Back in 2012? Any year. To my knowledge, I mean, I've been going to prison for a long time, but we never said no, bro, you can't be, like, we ain't do that. Nobody never did, nah, nothing that I heard of. Do you recall back in, Do you remember back in 2016 having an interview at the Atlanta Police Department with an investigator, Gaither, um, at the Atlanta Police Department? Hmm? Yeah, where you? In 2015. Really around August of 2015. I don't know. I, I had an interview, though. I don't remember like, what year with who, though. And in that interview, your attorney, your attorney Jacoby Hudson, who's in the courtroom today, was present along with two detectives of the Atlanta Police Department. Do you remember that? I think so. Okay. And do you remember in that interview speaking to the detectives about the founding of YSL and who founded YSL? Do you recall that? No. Okay. Do you recall... Within that interview, stating that it was you, Tick, Mondo, that found a wise up. I don't recall saying that, but. Who is Mondo? A friend. Okay. Is Mondo a founder of YSL? Um. I won't say. You would not say? Okay, let me ask you this, Mr. Murphy. 
since you got out of jail for this case, have you been on interviews with the person named Mondo when he was claiming to be a founder of YSL? Have I been on an interview with him? Like he interviewed me? Not he interviewed you, but he, you, him, and Buck Buck being interviewed and him talking about him being a founder of YSL. Do you remember that? Me being interviewed? You, Mondo, and Buck Buck. I think I went with him to an interview. I don't think I was interviewed though. Okay. And at, in that interview, are you sitting on the couch next to him in the interview? I think I'm sitting next to Buck Buck, but we on the couch. Y'all on the couch. And in that interview, do you remember having conversations about him being a founder as well of YSL? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Confrontation. Hold on, Mr. Matthews. I'll sustain the objection as to form. Maybe you need to rephrase it as to who he's having a conversation with. Okay. We'll get back to that interview from 2021. Three. Let's go back to your 2016 interview, your 2015 August interview. Do you recall in that August 2015 interview telling Detective Gaither and Dennis that when YSL first started, you had to be off of Cleveland Avenue or be from Cleveland Avenue? I don't recall saying that. You don't? I don't. I was on a lot of drugs back then. Like... Okay. Back in August. I don't remember none of that, but okay. You were a lot of drugs when? When you did the interview? All my life. Okay. When you did the interview... I'm sober now, but for a long period of... Majority of my life, I was high. Okay. When you did the interview in August of 2015, were you in jail at the time in which you did the interview in August of 2015? Yeah, I think I was, I was in Rush Street. Okay. And... When you went to the interview with Detective Dennis, Detective Gaither, and your attorney, were you high inside that interview? I was high while in Rush Street, so nine times out of ten, I was high. Okay. During that interview, were you able to give them information, which we're going to get into later, about the case for which you were arrested for? I don't remember that. Um, Back in August... I ain't saying I didn't know I did, though, but I don't remember. Back in August 2015... <clears throat> Were you arrested for the shooting of Dexter Montgomery? Yeah, that's what I went to prison for. Okay. And back in August of 2015, did you interview or speak with detectives about that shooting? I know I did an interview. I don't remember what I said, though. Okay. But so, yeah, you, yeah. And did you also talk to them about YSL during that interview? I don't remember that. Now, I know you said earlier that anyone could join YSL. Did there come a point in time where there were more members of YSL that were not from Cleveland Avenue? Can you repeat that? Oh. Sure. When YSL first started, <coughs> were most of the members of YSL from the Cleveland Avenue area? When we started, we were... Was... Living on Cleveland Avenue, but I want, I'm not from Cleveland Avenue. Okay. At some point in time, did you move over to the Cleveland Avenue area? Yeah. Okay. So, although you're not, let me back up. When you say you're not from Cleveland Avenue, what do you mean? Uh, that's not where I'm from. If you ask me where I'm from, I'm say Gilbert Gardens. Okay. How far is Gilbert Gardens from Cleveland Avenue? Mm -hmm. A minute. It's at the borderline of Forest Park. Okay. In 2005, when you moved over to Cleveland Avenue, in 2012, when you formed um, YSL, had you been living in the Cleveland Avenue area for about seven years at that point? Yeah, I would say. Okay. And so initially, although you were not born on Cleveland Avenue, at this point in time in 2012, had you been over on Cleveland Avenue for a good amount of years? Yeah. All right. And 
the other individuals, Little Jeff, Tick, Buck Buck Mondo, were they from the Cleveland Avenue area? No. Did they live in the Cleveland Avenue area? No, not all of them. Who did not live in Cle off of Cleveland Avenue? Mondo or Buck Buck. Okay. Where did Mondo or Buck Buck? Where was Mondo from? The west side. I don't know exactly where, but he's from the west side. Okay. What about Buck Buck? The west side. Both from the west side? And when you say the west side, what do you mean? The west side? I don't know how to... What's, what neighborhood is it? It ain't a neighborhood. It's a part of the city. Do you know what streets are over in the west side of Atlanta? Uh -huh. Zone 3. Do you know what zone is the west side of Atlanta? Zone 1. Zone 1. Outside of Buck Buck and Mondo, were there other members as YSO grew that were not from the Cleveland Avenue area? I don't recall. I don't really be remember where people from or where they live there and I don't even think about stuff like that. Do you recall in that same interview that I was just referencing in August 2016, excuse me, 2015 interview that you told Gaither, investigate Gaither and investigate Dennis that as Mr. Williams got bigger, things with YSL kind of changed and more people started coming into YSL. Do you recall telling investigator and investigator Dennis that? Basis? Yes, sir. This is... I'm going to overrule the objection, sir. Do you recall telling them that? Say that again? In your interview with Investigator Gaither and Investigator Dennis, do you recall telling them that as Mr. Williams got bigger, more people started joining YSL who were not from the Cleveland Avenue area? That sound about right, though. Okay. I don't remember saying that, but that sound about right. And how did you feel about that? Huh? How did you feel about these other individuals now joining YSL? I don't, I don't care. Was YSL affiliated with any national blood gang set? Yeah. Who or what? I don't think I, like, it's just blood. I don't think it's, like, no particular individual. No, no. Okay. 